Hey, welcome to the first video in the Mechanics of Materials playlist. We're going to get started off here talking about normal stress. And uh, stress is really just in its most basic sense is just force per unit area. So if you imagine here we have some prismatic member that we're applying an axial force to. Uh, in this case we're putting it into tension or you know we could be uh, uh, applying a compressive force here, putting it in compression. But we're looking at an axial force here and we are asked to find what is the normal stress at any point in this member. So the way that we do that is we section the beam at some point. Basically we just pass a virtual cut through it like we've been doing in uh, in statics videos if you uh, which you should be familiar, familiar with by now. Um, but when we do that we basically just reveal a a cross-sectional area. Here let's draw this on. Uh, we show a cross-sectional area of one of the uh, internal faces you know of that of that virtual cut that we've done. And when we do that, we think that uh, when we want to draw a free body diagram for this, you can see that for, uh, let's say, for this section of the beam here, we're going to have the force P pulling in one direction, and we need to just cancel that out with an equal and opposite force. Uh, but the way that we do that is we just assume that the force is distributed evenly across this surface, giving us a stress, actually. So we call that stress here uh, lowercase sigma. And that stress is just equal to, like I said, the force per unit area. So we're just going to have P over A. And we call this a normal stress because the stress is acting normal to this surface uh, that we've, uh, to this cross-sectional area or this surface that we've uh, kind of virtually exposed. Now if our applied force here is in newtons and our area is in meters squared, then our stress here is going to be in units of newtons per meter squared, or that's also called pascals. Uh, but usually in mechanics of materials courses, we're going to be working in the range of kilopascals, megapascals, or gigapascals. And in mechanics of materials, we're going to be making an assumption to simplify the analysis that there is going to be a uniform distribution of the stress over the whole cross-section uh, of the member, no matter where we slice it. Now, in reality, the closer that you get to an applied force, the less true this gets. If you imagine that we have this applied force here right at this point on the face, then a point on the face right over here in the corner isn't actually going to be under a whole lot of stress because all the stress is going to be concentrated kind of right around there. Um, but the further you get into the beam, the more distributed, the more evenly distributed it gets. Uh, but we're going to make the assumption that it is uniformly distributed everywhere through this beam. And lastly, for problems involving normal stress, we're going to be assuming that the axial forces here are being applied at the centroids of the cross section. So you'll notice I did draw this right at the center of the square here. Uh, this is called centric loading and this uh, this will simplify our analysis and at this level it will only will only be having centric loading. If we're not applying them right at the centroid of this surface or of the cross-sectional area then uh, that will be called eccentric loading and uh, we'll run into that in later videos but for now just don't worry about that because it's going to be developing uh, internal moments and that sort of thing but right now we're just talking about normal stress. So let's imagine in this case that we actually have some dimensions. Let's take our uh, frontal view of this face here and uh, let's throw on, let's say it's uh, 50 millimeters by 50 millimeters. So that means that we're going to get a cross-sectional area of 2,500 millimeters squared. And our, let's give ourselves an applied force here of, uh, let's say, 100 kilonewtons. So when we want to go calculate for our normal stress here, that's just P over A, this is our applied force over our cross-sectional area of the member, we're going to get, this is 100 kilonewtons over 2,500 millimeters squared. And that's going to give us 0 0.04 uh, kilonewtons per meter, kilonewtons per millimeter squared. Now that's a pretty weird unit because I know that newtons per meter squared are, are equivalent to pascals, but looking at this it's not super obvious about it. So if we just do a unit conversion we're gonna find that this is equal to 40 million newtons per meter squared, which is equal to 40 million pascals and if we have uh, 40 times 10 to the 6 pascals, we're going to get 40 megapascals. So let's say that we have 40 times 10 to the 6 pascals. Uh, so that is also equal to 40 megapascals. 
uh, or we if we sometimes you might be asked to give your answer in kilopascals or gigapascals so we could just make that conversion this would just be uh, divide this by a thousand we would get this is also equal to 0 0.04 gigapascals or if you go the other way multiply it by a thousand um, then this would also be equal to 40,000 kilopascals but for this problem the most sensible answer to give would be saying that the uh, the normal stress inside this member here is is equal to 40 megapascals